Hello again. We're going up in the Isle to Sturmovic Great Battles again. Um, this is the first video I've made of 2022. It's also the first I've done with the Oculus Rift that I got last week. So, I'm still getting the hang of it. But uh, I think you might see a difference here. So, Spitfire 9. A really nice aircraft. I think it's my all time favourite so far. All time favourite from the Great Battles. So the scenario is it's spring 1945, it's Germany in its last legs, I'm up with another Spitfire, we're taking on a flight of four Stukas with one ME109, I think it's a G, uh, an escort. So here comes the Stuka, here's the formation, let's make a quick slashing run, and I'm going to go back and look for the, the fighter. The beauty of having a wingman is I think he'll probably go back and try and harry this too because who knows in real life I could talk to him but this is the AI. So the Spitfire turns really nicely. It's so much easier to search the sky when you, you can just look. You can look around, you can look up, you can look down. You get a much wider uh, field of view than you see in the recording. There's the fighter. Quite a nice uh, loop there to tuck in on him. It's just great being able to keep in review. There goes my wingman flying the other way. That's good. Here he is. Quite nicely done, I can see so myself. Using the cannon here. So much easier to use the gun sight as well with the 3D. At this stage in the war, the German German pilots were not at the best, so I've kind of reflected that. So I got him a good hit there. I don't think he's quite down. So here's here's the uh, that first shot ca catches him in the wing tip, and then I get him good. And he's certainly out of the fight. But he's also kind of trying to get away. At this stage I'm not really sure whether he's put down or not. And his wing falls off. What a shame, I shouldn't laugh because he's put way too low to, to bail out. Bad day. So, back to the main timeline. And now it's just the Stukas to worry about. Great, you can hear the air hissing and hear the winds creaking when you pull, pull a tight turn. Again, it's so much easier to search the sky when you can just turn your head from side to side. I think the Stukas are maybe running away at this point, I don't know what their deal is. Poor guys are just uh, straight, probably straight out of flight training to an attack aircraft. If they go, never mind. I've just got to make sure they don't hurt anybody on the ground. So my wingman's shot one of them down, that's what we're seeing there. Good man. So what are we looking at now? Or has he shot two of them down even? There were four initially before I went off in that dogfight. Oh no, I see them, there's three left. One's a bit lower than the others though. Right over the airfield now. Maybe they were coming to attack our airfield. The three of them. One of them's damaged, the one in front, and then there's the other two. So one of the undamaged ones, got a good hit, I got another good hit. It's so much easier to 
a target. Stukas are really hard to shoot down though, they, they do carry a rear gunner with a pretty lethal armament so you can't hang about on their tail. Yeah, I think one of them's going down, the first one's going down. Yeah, definitely. So the one that we saw diving down, I think is trying to sneak away on the ground, or get you know, close to the ground. And, uh, yeah, he's gone really slow. I lost sight of him actually, but he's down there somewhere, so... I think this is, uh, is this the last? Anyway, just got to knock them off one at a time. bit of a risk, um, you know, I'm decelerating too close to landing speeds here just to try and not overshoot him because he's flying really low and close to the ground, there he is. And there goes my wingman. So at least I'm going to slash him. Yep, that's right. This ticket just turned at the last minute. Surprisingly nimble for a fairly large aircraft. So I've just got to be careful not to stall because I'm not quite slow and low here. There he is. I'm going to get one shot. I'm going to hang around the rear gunner. Got him. Definitely got a good hit on him. Ooh. That's the warning tone when I shot the throttle, I was trying not to be too obvious for the rear gunner. Is he going down? <laughs> not quite. He's uh, pretty badly damaged, but I think we have to finish him off now. He's not going home like that. Funny, it's almost like trying to shoot to hit a ground, a ground target. Almost like you're trying to hit a fast moving truck or something because he's he can fly much slower than me. It'd be ashamed to stall and crash in the process of trying to get him. There we go, have another slash. One of these times we'll get him. Oof, lousy shooting. No, I completely lost the plot there. Considering how quickly I shot down that Messerschmitt, this is a bit of a joke. And there's my wingman having a slash. He also missed him, I think. That poor guy. If it was me, I would have bailed out ages ago. Got him. Got him. Got some more hits. Still not down, I'd say. This is a bit embarrassing, but I mean, he's not going to do anything. Oh, he's the smoke. Oh, my wingman's hit him. There he goes, he's down. Yeah, that's the end of that. Out. Oh yeah, there's a parachute, just one. One of the guys made it out. I was kind of glad about that. Trying to get away. There's the... It's pretty conclusive, isn't it? I think man can shoot better than me. 
Or maybe he was lucky. In case yet, there's the, there's the canopy coin. And there's the guy who got me out at the very last possible moment. I guess the other guy was uh, already dead. For you, the war is over. Now, just do for the hell of it, do a loop. Just because I can. Or, not really a loop, it's a, a split S, I think you call it. It's a half loop. It reverses your direction. All I need to do is land now. Which is not to be taken for granted that the Spitfires are very high performance aircraft with a very tall, narrow landing gear. And yeah, I see I still have more success in shooting than I do in landing. Maybe, maybe I've practiced one more than the other. There's my wingman. I wonder if he wants to say hello. landing I didn't end very well. So there's my airfield, way too high, so I'll do quite a big uh, pattern when I fly off. Uh, there's no wind today so I'm just going to pick the longest runway, which looks to be that one. Swim right, line up, put in the reciprocal, fly out, lose some height, lose some speed, do a 180, and come in and try to land. Try to survive landing and try to maybe even ensure that the plane's reusable afterwards. Again, it's much more intuitive uh, doing stuff like this when you can just uh, you can see all around, you've got peripheral vision. So um, height, height's now fine, and I'm just going to deliberately lose a little bit of s excess speed in this turn. I'm making a climbing turn. Kind of misjudged it with the angles there, but I'm way far out. I can easily get back onto the runway heading. There's the flaps. And there goes the gear. deliberately crossing the controls here to lose a little bit more speed at the more or less full opposite rudder. There's the speed in the right place now, so I just need to not stall. I've gone a little bit too low, but that's okay. I can just uh, put a little bit more power on, stretch the glide, be watching the numbers. I'm certainly not going to go around. Yep, I can definitely make it. Got a stabilised approach, my speed's good. I'm a little bit low, but I think I'll be okay. Ah, I'm just going offline a little bit. The visibility at this stage is lousy. Even with the VR headset, you can hardly see anything. I'm kind of a bit to remember where the runway was almost. Ah, I just touched the rudder a little bit harshly there. I think, yeah, still good. Actually, that's a really nice landing. It's possibly the best landing I've ever made, at least in this plane. And I can't quite seem to keep it stable on the ground. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I always seem to screw that last bit up. Never mind. It looks like I lost a flap, but uh, I guess they can screw it back on. Happy flying.